Hello, my name is Marius and I'm from Greece. Some of you, you might already know me from Facebook or miniature shows. Couple years now, and after I've met many of you guys and girls, I've been thinking that our hobby community needed a YouTube channel with reviews and previews of miniatures, presentations, tips and tricks on how to paint them, interviews of artists, miniature shows report, Q&A videos, and news for our hobby community. So I decided to start this YouTube channel. In this first episode, we're going to make a review of some figures from my own private collection that hopefully someday I'm going to paint them. Our first review will be Athena Parthenos, that means Athena the Virgin, a miniature from Alexandros Models in a scale of 200mm, sculpted by Anastasia Podorozhnya. Let's open the box. It's a very beautiful bust where Anastasia managed to depict the characteristics of a true goddess. It's obvious that she studied and got influenced from the ancient Greek sculptors, creating a bust of a woman who was the symbol of wisdom without setting aside her Greek beauty. I remember seeing photos of Anastasia's bust posted on Facebook while she was working on it and I fell in love with his piece of art. The bass is consisted from the torso and the head the helmet where you can see two pegasus in each side two owls and one snake as a decoration and the brass of the helmet where it's glue right here these small parts are the heads of the snakes that are going to be glued at all the armor where the snake tails are 
And the last part of the box is the coin of Athena, where you can see the head of Athena in one side and at the other the owl. The owl were the sacred animal of Athena. The only minor flaw that can easily be fixed is this mold line from the left side of the bust and a very similar at the top of the brush. You also have to remove these surpluses of a resin at the helmet and it's very very easy to do it. In an overall I can give an 8 out of 10 grade for this bust. As my personal suggestion for painting it, it will be a bronze helmet and armor and a white dress or light blue, probably transparent. Our next review it's Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson bust. Figures from villains and heroes miniatures, sculpted by Raul Garcia Latore. The scale of the figures is 1 to 12. Let's open the box. A very well protected miniatures from this box. Sherlock Holmes is consisted by the torso, the head, the detective's hat, Pascal Pichon, the hand with the pipe. The symbol of Sherlock Holmes, actually. Doctors Watson torso also the head and the hat. I think that when I was reading the books of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, is this how I imagine these two heroes of our childhood? That Torre was able to give to both of them a perfect expression of a person while he was thinking to find the solution of a mystery. Look how smooth these surfaces are. In both of the closures. You can do any pattern you would like to give a life on your imagination of these figures however you want them and you have them in your mind. The suit of Dr. Watson shows the strict character of an ex-soldier. On the other hand, Sherlock Holmes' clothes are more casual, exactly like were in the stories. Both of the character faces are perfect. Even if you search really good, you wouldn't be able to find the mold line on every part of this miniature. The only small details you have to remove with a hobby knife would be the resin parts at the base of their neck right here and the tip of the hat
when you will try to remove these pieces, you will have to be a little bit careful not to break the thin part of the hat and not to cut yourself. For this box, I would give a 9 out of 10. When I was thinking how to paint them, I think I would copy the box artist Fernando Ruiz that has done a superb painting job. The only change probably would be to give a monochrome suit to Dr. Watson. Our next review will be another bust from Alexander's model, Alexander the Great. The bust of 1 to 9 scale, the sculpting had been done by Andriano Laruccia. Let's open the box and see what we can find. The classic box from Alexander's models with all the fillers that protect the resin dust that produce. Here are the three parts that consist this beautiful bust. First, we're going to see the classical Alexander armor at his torso. The head where the, his face shows his young age while he was conquering the world. And the last piece is this fabric that has a button with a symbol of the son of Regina and its position is right here where it goes all in front of the bust chest and goes back to the left shoulder and the head hidden here. Great historical miniature that followed the historical descriptions by the letter. It is very challenging bust for any painter because of his large size. La Ruggia has done a really exceptional work on sculpting. My grade for this box will be 9.5 out of 10. On my suggestion of how to paint it, there are a lot of historical references that you have to follow. That was our first review. So if you liked it, share it with your friends, put your comments, bad or good, it will help me to continue and evolve into something really really good. If any of the miniature companies want me to include their figures in my reviews, please find my contact details in the description of the video down below and send your products. Also, I must inform you that in the upcoming videos, except of the reviews, we will give away miniatures from the companies they support us. Keep in mind that I will change many things in my videos to become better and better for you guys. So please, I want your patience. Don't forget to subscribe and click the button with the bell to get informed every time I upload my new videos. Until the next time, bye!